this is Upamanyu and today we are going to learn how to create a ticket style tag cloud with HTML and CSS. Now every one of us has seen a ticket. It looks somewhat like this. So we are basically going to create a tag cloud and we are going to style the tags so that they look like the tickets. So I'd be using Dreamweaver as my code editor. So let's fire up Dreamweaver. And let's create a new HTML document. Okay, now let's start by adding the title. Okay, we've added the title. Now I'd like to link these CSS files. They're not yet created, but still I would like to do the job beforehand. Okay, now. Okay, link completion is style shaped. Okay, href. I will create a folder inside the main directory which will be called CSS, and in that folder, I will create file that will be known as style.css okay next in the next in the next I create another link and this also same style sheet and this will refer to again in the folder CSS there will be a file called tickets.css and in that file I would define all the styling of the tickets and that I have linked now let's save this first and before that let's create a folder in which uh, all the files and will be there now let's uh, name that folder tag cloud okay. now in this folder Inside this folder, I will create another folder which will be called CSS. Okay, now let's close this and let's fire up Dreamweaver. Now, I will save this file as index.htm in the same folder that we have created okay I will go to text okay index.htm so I'm not going to use Dreamweaver for editing my CSS files I'm going to use another software called Expresso, which is another nice software to edit my CSS files. So for the time being, I hide this Dreamweaver and fire up Expresso. Okay, Let's close this, and I would open the file, the CSS file that is style.css in the 
directory tag cloud so actually I don't need this I'll start by defining the body okay inside the body first thing I want to add is margin pixels the second thing is padding that's 20 pixels in the top 30 pixels in the left 60 pixels in the bottom and 30 pixels in the right text align I'd like to center the font family I'd like it to be Verdana. Okay. There should be a border of one pixel dashed, and I'd like to give a R P G A value that stands for red, blue, green, and alpha. So there is no red, no. blue green no blue and 0.3 alpha okay now also I would like to give an outline of one pixel da dashed and the color I would like to give is BDC 63F this is a nice grayish color now let's save this and let's have a look at the result ok you know we've got nice dashed border around the whole thing we have got nice padding a nice margin and the things we want now the next thing I want to style is the edge one all the h1 tags so there's only one h1 tag here as you can see there's only one h1 tag here that is the main heading so the font size I'll have to give it as 36 pixels the margin in the bottom I'd like to give it as 100 pixels sorry and the color according to me should be ADC 6 3 it's a nice light green color <coughs> I also want to add a text shadow 0 1 pixel 0 and R RBGA the values of red green blue and 0 0.5 alpha so let's save this and let's have a preview of it. Okay, yeah. You see, we have nice, you know, nice mm, green colored mm. and if we can see, we can't sh see the shadow. I think there is no shadow so let's see what we can uh, what we have done with the shadow yeah it should be R G B A not R B G A R G B A okay, let's save it 
and let's refresh it. Yeah, <clears throat> we have got a nice shadow here, <clears throat> and here too. Okay. <clears throat> now let's open up Expresso again and the next thing I want to style is the class tags. The width I want to set it as six hundred pixels so it will be not overflowing of this width and margin of zero and auto okay so let's preview it now how it looks no change <laughs> but soon there will be a change <coughs> tags after okay there will be a content and it will be null ok display will be block the there will be will clear both will also put a height of 0 and a width of 0 ok Let's save it and let's now go to Firefox and reload it. No <coughs> specific change is there, but we will soon uh, be able to observe the changes. We'll soon be able to observe the changes. Now I'd like to open the next CSS file that we have with us is tickets.css. Yeah. Okay. Now we start by styling the class ticket. Okay. Okay. Now Okay, now the first thing I want to specify in ticket is the font family that I want to be Arial. Also, the font size I want to be 12 pixel. Also, the font weight. I want it to be bold, bold font, nice heavy font. The position 